Hello, my name is Dua Amin. I'm a Sphere Program PhD scholar registered in the School of Public Health, Physiotherapy and Sports Science at University College Dublin. I'm a member of the CARA Network, which is a collaboration that aims to reduce antibiotic prescribing and resistance in Ireland. My co-author and supervisor is Prof. Akka Vilenga, and she's the head of the CARA Network. Uh, I'm going to talk to you in this presentation about COVID-19 infections in acute Irish hospitals in the years 2020 and 2021. So now let me give you a little bit of an introduction and pave the road for this research. We know that so far there have been around 772 million cases with COVID-19 around the globe, which resulted in approximately 7 million deaths. There have been also some risk factors associated with COVID-19 infections, such as older age, ethnicity, being male, and comorbidities such as heart disease and hypertension. There have been also some common symptoms for COVID-19 infections, such as fever, cough, dyspnea, fatigue, nasal discharge, sore throat, and gastrointestinal symptoms for some patients. So what do we know about Ireland and COVID-19 infections? We know that so far there have been around 1.7 million cases of COVID-19, which resulted in more than 9,000 deaths. So do we know anything about the characteristics or the symptoms of COVID-19 patients in acute Irish hospitals? The answer is no. And this is why the aim of this research is to explore the characteristics and the symptoms of COVID-19 in patients in acute Irish hospitals in 2020 and 2021. This study is a retrospective analysis for inpatients data from 55 acute Irish hospitals in the years 2020 and 2021. The data for this study is extracted from hospital inpatient inquiry data or the HIVE data, which is a health information system uh, including all sorts of information about inpatients in acute Irish hospitals. Descriptive statistics were used to explore the characteristics of the inpatient and logistic regression was used to explore the symptoms associated with a COVID-19 diagnosis. After analyzing our data, we got to know that in the years 2020 and 2021, we had a total of more than 170,000 hospital admissions with respiratory tract infections, and out of those, 53% had a COVID-19 diagnosis. The 65-plus-year-olds represented 52% of all COVID-19 inpatients. The hospital length of stay for an inpatient with a COVID-19 infection ranged from half a day to more than 400 days uh, with a median of seven days in 2020 and ranged from half a day to more than 300 days with a median of six days in 2021. The intensive care unit length of stay ranged from zero to uh, more than 300 days with a median of zero days in 2020 and ranged from zero to more than 200 days with a median of zero days in 2021. The hours spent on a ventilator uh, for a COVID-19 inpatient ranged from zero to more than 6,000 hours with a median of zero hours in 2020 and ranged from zero to more than 2,000 hours with a median of zero hours in 2021. We got to know also that 7% of all COVID-19 cases were hospital acquired. The logistic regression model helped us in knowing the symptoms associated with a COVID-19 uh, infection, for example, tachycardia, shortness of breath and fever, and also helped us know the symptoms associated with non-COVID uh, infection, such as wheezing. From our results, we got to conclude that inpatients with a COVID-19 infections made up more than half of all the hospital admissions with respiratory tract infections in acute Irish hospitals in the years 2020 and 2021. We also got to conclude that the 65 plus uh, inpatients were the largest at risk. The median length of stay for an inpatient with a COVID-19 infection ranged from six to seven days and that the symptoms associated with the COVID-19 infections were tachycardia, nausea and vomiting, cough, shortness of breath, bradycardia, systematic inflammation, malaise and fatigue, fever, and chest pain. While wheezing was the only symptom that was an indication of a different RTI other than COVID-19. 
These are our references, and thank you very much for listening.